Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down My Gemini <laughs> My yin yang Gemini Baby, what's popping? Did you miss me? Huh? Huh? Honey, because I missed your ass. I know y'all didn't think I was going to leave Gemini's out. Huh? Huh? Gemini's, are you guys in this space of reflecting, of choosing a pathway? Are you guys also in this space of not really giving a fuck what a hater got to say? A lot of progressive energy that I actually feel from you guys, gems, for the month of October. I know I'm late. Listen, don't shine on my, don't, don't reflect on my late, cause then you gonna miss the damn blessing and the message being great. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. I know I'm fucking late. I was trying to let this little moly, 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 moly go the fuck away. So PSA, I got a little fucking uh, lady, lady lump bump. From the fucking time of the month, month, and I, I was in my bag about it. I didn't like it, honestly. Okay. Without further ado, hey, hey, <laughs> this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel. Look out, I cuss. Okay. They cuss a little, they cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cuss does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader right now, right down now. Okay. Just get the hell up out of here. That can further assist you without cussing, cause this is my shit. You don't want to hear me cussing? Gonna create you some shit. All right. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, you guys, the donations, the emails, you guys checking in on me, the text messages, the love. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever. Okay. Also, you guys, this message is not going to resonate with everybody as it is a general message. Okay. You take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try and put that motherfucker on. You're going to fall. Okay. All right. You guys, um... If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box below, okay? I am going to be cutting it short for the month of November because I got some things that the kid is going to be working on, Blood Clock. God damn it, okay? So, with that, without further ado, we're going to jump right into your October reading, okay? Um, it, again, slate. A lot of people are fucking late, all right? But we upgraded. That's all that fucking matter, bitch. All right? So off the rail, this will be for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the Cross Watchers, Mercury, and Mars. Okay? For the month of October. Let's jump right on in. All right? So Geminis, intuitively, first and foremost, I really want to um, ask you what's your secret. Okay? Geminis, there's a lot of obsessive energy around you guys' this energy. I don't know. So when you sit on it, Gems, do you sit and do a little spin or some shit? Because why can't they let you go? Someone doesn't want to let you go, Gems. Did, did you sit and spin? Or is it like this little backwards fucking jump and leap on the dick? I don't know. Okay? They don't want to let your ass go. Period. Okay? Some of you all, um, I am picking up on the energy of haters at work. Some of you guys may not be the best, you know, li the most liked person at work. But guess what? As long as they ass is hating, then you're doing something right. Okay? Um... I also picked up on the energy gym. Some of you guys may be um, getting into some type of practicing work. Okay, I did pick up the occult very heavy. Some of you guys could be studying or wanting to study astrology, numerology during this time. There was a lot of focus on ancestry, okay? I also picked up on the energy as well of breaking cycles, breaking cycles around some type of abandonment within the lineage, okay? This can even be like disconnectedness between the matriarchs. This could be like a mother and daughter relationship, okay? I'm also picking up on the need to forgive a father figure. This could be your father. This could be a grandfather. Someone feels as if they lost they lost the opportunity to get it off their chest, to say it with their chest. Some of y'all need to say it with your motherfucking chest, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of, like, the need of validation or the, the need of having someone's... This could be you or another person needing to have their ego stroked, okay? Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. There was a lot of fire in my meditative session. A lot of fire, okay? 
I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of you guys may be shifting or changing your majors in the month of our, what, the latter half of October going into November now, okay? Some of you guys also may be in this space. Somebody could want a new car. Others of you could be dyeing your hair like a very loud color, like a beautiful color because I'm picking up on like a fuchsia. Some of you guys I'm also picking up on. Somebody wants to be a unicorn. I'm picking up on the ombre, uh, like a rainbow ombre. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone having to... T Some of you guys could be taking care of a mother figure or there could be a, a mother-in-law or something to that extent. Someone could be... Like, there could be... There could be an addition to your family or an addition to your household, I'd say, okay? Some of you guys are getting ready to have them little baby smoking love the kids. Some of you guys could have recently found out that you're pregnant or you will be uh, finding out that you're pregnant in the month of November, okay? I'm also picking up on a lot of legalities and a lot of spell work. There's a lot of... Some of you guys, you could have the interest of wanting to be a practitioner. For some of you all, I'm literally hearing voodoo priestess, so this could have to do with your lineage, okay? Some of you guys could be finding this out within your lineage. Some of you all also... I'm picking up the energy of portals, okay? Some of you guys could be learning how to create portals. Some of you guys could be walking through some type of vertex or going through some type of awakening that is assisting you with moving forward through this portal. But there's the energy of portals that I'm picking up on. I'm also picking up on a fucking YouTube magician. Somebody is looking up on YouTube trying to do binding spells on you, honey. And this person is really just really setting their self back. I did pick up on a heavy water sign energy with that, okay? Some of you guys could be wanting to do some type of spell work or teach some type of spell work on YouTube. Others of you, I'm picking up on a lot of heritage. This could have to do with like African American heritage when it comes to uh, voodoo, hoodoo, the origin of such, okay? Some of you all, I did pick up on the energy of distraction. Some of you guys could have a... Hey! Some of you guys, there's this energy of distractions, okay? Some of you guys could have a Sagittarius doing this to you. For others of you, I did pick up on the energy of a Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo. I'm hearing unexpected news, so some of you guys could be hearing some type of unexpected news. Now, for some of you all, this don't feel so damn good, okay? You know what the hell you've been doing? If you've been busting windows out of motherfucking cars, don't be mad when Sarah comes slash your fucking tires. That's what the fuck you put out in the damn universe, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy of first come, first serve. Gemini, you're being chosen for something, okay? So this is the intuitive messages that I wrote down because I feel like I've been talking for ages, okay? You guys, I got car repairs, veganism, Psychic attacks, conspiracy, soul ties, freedom of speech, public eye, karmic returns, forgery, lies exposed, pride issues, logos, vendor license, gaslighting, private investigator, esoteric insight, Realignment, religious projections, grant approvals, golden child, philanthropist, portals, pathway, practitioner, new contract, grant approvals, undeniable, inevitable endings, portals between realms, alchemy, gang stalking lawsuits petty mischief okay gemini's honey who y'all fucking with you want to borrow my belt because you could you could borrow that motherfucker water tie they motherfucking that bless them with the water tie okay shout out to brother fucking booty tang all right <laughs> so let's get it to it so what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and pull a crystal oracle message for you guys for the month of October. Just to see um, what crystal would be useful for you guys. Or what crystal would um, bring you some type of insight as well. Gemini's. 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 Okay, you guys got, hmm, Eye of the Storm. This is a beautiful crystal. I've never seen it before, to be honest, Gems. Number 48. Some of you guys, um, 
Some of you guys, 222 will be very significant is what I'm seeing. I just literally saw a flash of 222. Others of you may be seeing 555 a whole lot. I do feel the energy of change, gems. Change. Shifts. Major shifts, okay? You guys got number four, number 48, the Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm is a safe haven for your soul. A calm center, no matter what upheavals may occur. A life support system during stressful times or serious illness. Hold on to it during challenges so that you can keep things in perspective. For self-understanding, you may be allowing the challenges and traumas of life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are major cause of your disease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of life to the detriment of others. Look at the wider picture. For divination use, time to relax and let go of your stress. Stay mindful rather than watchful. Excess adrenaline adversely affects your immune system. Switch on the positive potential in your cell walls. Meditate quietly to rejuvenate your DNA. For healing insight, you can stay centered and calm no matter what storm rages around you, okay? The frequency of this stone is earthy to high. It's good for all the chakras, good for any timing, okay? And for those with the soul path of walking safely through the storm, okay? So, gems, I strongly feel like for some of you all, there's this element of perseverance. Perseverance, okay? Some of you all are definitely handling this grace gracefully because the song that I channeled for you guys has nothing to do with what the fuck I just said. The song I channeled for you guys was, um, uh, um, uh, twerk. For me, oh, twerk for me, okay? So, that's by Chameleon, I believe. Her name is Chameleon Twerk For Me. Go check that the fuck out. Some of y'all already been twerking on beds, in the living room, in the kitchen while you cleaning your fucking countertops. Some of y'all is twerking while somebody, while y'all eating y'all kids' motherfucking coronavirus fucking fruit snacks. I see you, Geminis. I see you. And guess what? I like it. All right, so <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to the tarot. So what messages do you have for my gems, okay? Gemini's, I'm also picking up on the energy here. Some of you guys could be needing to heal from some type of like, or some type of harbor resentment, harbor resentment when it comes to either someone choosing someone over you or someone's having to do this within your energy. I'm also picking up on the energy of some type of hidden secret. Someone could have even been hiding a child. From another person or someone could be finding out that they have a daughter during this time this could definitely be an adult child okay i'm also picking up on the energy as well someone needed to forgive someone who could have um sexually abused them i feel like some of you guys are really 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 doing some deep soul searching for the month of october all right so what message do you have on my sun and rising venus Cross Watchers, Mercury, Mars, North Node, Geminis, okay? Some of you guys could be, yeah. Some of you guys could be coming into the, yeah, someone, so, okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aquarius for shit show, okay? Someone could even be moving towards you. I feel like some of you guys are just focused on your purpose, your path, okay? Some of you guys are really focused on your destiny, where you're headed, okay? Others, you could be moving away from an air sign particularly Aquarius. This could also have to do with the Virgo is what I'm hearing. For others, you just have to do with... Okay. This has to do with the Rocky situation. I am hearing eviction, so some of you guys could be facing eviction or could have recently faced eviction. You could have recently moved or you be could be looking to move, all right? For some of you all, I am hearing pride issues. Pride, pride. Some of you guys don't want to ask anyone for help during this time. I am seeing the help is available for some of you all, but I definitely feel like some of you guys have this get it out the mud ass type of attitude. Don't block, don't block the door of you receiving Gemini's, okay? For some of you all, something's being illuminated here regarding an Aries or a Scorpio individual. I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is a lot of subconscious, subconscious activity when it comes to some here subconscious revelations within your dream space. For some of you all, you even may have a you may you may be experiencing um, a case of insomnia. Some of you guys are waking up during the witching hour between three and five a.m. 
I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with some type of esoteric or some type of ancestral insight that you're receiving. A lot of you all could also be finding out some type of deception regarding paperwork, okay? Some of y'all could also have to do, some, some of y'all this could have to do with forgery or the type of, some type of mishandling of documents, okay? For others of you, I am, yeah, some of y'all, there could also be someone at your job trying to blame something on you. Someone's trying to cover their own ass. And I feel like whatever paperwork or whatever... Whatever paperwork that you're asked to sign in the month of October, if you've been feeling to delay the signing of some type of paperwork, do so. Because I feel like someone's damn good with words or someone's not really someone's not really providing you all the information regarding the details, okay? For others of you, could be find, some of y'all could be finding out that you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This individual could like the same sex. Somebody likes some freaky teens, okay? But someone's afraid of losing you, all right? Some of you guys could have been dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who needs to choose possibly between you and a Virgo or you and a water sign. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone finding out that they've been dating somebody for quite some time, but they're, whoever this person is that they're dating, this individual could, could be legally married. I feel like someone's separated but legally married. And I feel like someone chose not to divorce due to money reasons. Someone doesn't want to lose money here, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like I heard Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Taurus. I feel like there's this level of complacency here, but neither one of you guys are happy. Like someone here is bored. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone paying some type of private investigator. Someone could be having you follow gems or you could be doing this to someone else, okay? I'm strongly feeling the energy of a third-party relationship. Somebody's finna fucking blow... Yeah, somebody finna blow the goddamn roof off. Somebody finna blow the whistle to some fuck shit. Because I do feel that for some of you all, this has to do with someone's... Someone trying to block your purpose. I'm also picking up on some type of confirm, uh, conf confirming them. I hate Mercury in retrograde. And Scorpio was whooping my ass, okay? But someone picking up on some type of... Some of y'all could be having dreams that someone's doing spell work on you in your sleep. Some of you guys also are mediums. There could be a lot of paranormal activity. I feel like there's a lot of... A lot, a whole lot of connecting with your ancestry, okay? Some of you guys are very curious when it comes to your lineage. What, like, what cultures or what practices, what spiritual practices did your ancestors... Um, indulge in I'm also picking up on the energy of quantum physics some of you all could be studying quantum physics or some type of sacred symbology some of you all also are needing to protect yourself with sigils or you could be reading up on sigils I'm picking up on the energy of someone I, I keep hearing November 3rd November 3rd I know this is an October reading but some of you guys could be receiving some type of job offer on November 3rd some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. Somebody, hell is breaking loose on somebody's birthday. If you're dealing with the Scorpio or a Sagittarius, I strongly feel like someone is finding out somebody got a hidden kid here. I feel like someone's finding out that they have a kid. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone needing to set boundaries with their mother when it comes to their finances. Or someone needing the validation from their mother for what it is that they're doing. I feel like someone's mother, someone mothers, there's a matriarchal energy here that knows that you're dope as fuck, Gemini. But I feel like someone doesn't want to give you credit because this person feels a sense of embarrassment, okay? This could be you or another person. Like, someone is holding back their admiration for another individual because they don't want to, like, feed this individual's ego. For others of you, if there was a no contact situation happening with the Leo, I definitely feel like this fucking Leo wants to talk. There could also be some type of information that's blurted out between the argument between either two sisters, two cousins. This could even be someone who's been a family friend for quite some time. I feel like someone has always wanted to be you, Gems. And this is getting ready to be undeniable during this time. Some of you guys need to watch what the hell you telling this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For others of you, I definitely feel like, yeah, the plug is being pulled on you dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, no matter what ship this person is, no matter what ship this person is on in your life, whether it's a relationship, a friendship, that shit's coming to an end. Y'all parking the motherfucking boat. I feel like someone here could also be like, some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign. I feel like you share your ambitions or you share your, you share your dreams and your admirations with this individual. And I feel like 
For some of you all, someone acts like they're happy for you, but this individual feels very insecure because they don't have any purpose, okay? Somebody is shady as fuck, and they're not playing. They really mean that shit, but they just don't want to be cut off because this person sees the, 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 the greatness that you're destined for. I feel like this individual just wants to kind of be, be a tag-along is what I'm hearing. For others of you, you could be on the brink of new love, but you got a hard time cutting this motherfucking Sagittarius off because they don't want to lose theyself. In the moment, the mm, the mm, you better never let it go, okay? Sagittarius feel like they, they don't get one shot. They get 17 fucking shots, Gemini, and you better let them do it. That's how they feeling, okay? <laughs> For some of you all, you were dealing with a very narcissistic-ass um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Chris. I feel like someone wants to sneak back in your life without doing the proper work that you've already done. Someone knows who you are to them. Someone does acknowledge the fact that you guys have a strong soulmate uh, relationship or a strong soul tie. But this individual is afraid of growth. They're afraid of you because they're afraid of themselves. They know what the hell you desire. But if they actually acknowledge what it is that you desire, that would mean that they would have to change the shit in the fucked up ways that they have gotten comfortable with living. Okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you guys could be cutting off some type of sexual relationship with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Some of you guys could have a fire sign that is plotting to move move on towards another fire sign, but this individual doesn't know how to cut you off, or you don't know how to cut this individual off. I feel like someone's pulling the plug on a third party relationship. Someone's tired of being somebody's fucking booty call. And for some of you all, this is about fulfillment. What I desire. I desire a husband. I desire a wife. I desire someone that I can build with. Not somebody that I can, that could just put me in the motherfucking hook and book with them legs behind my head. <laughs> Baby girl. <laughs> legs behind your head. Somebody got the legs behind the head over here. Okay. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone wanting to make you an offer. Someone wants to apologize to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But someone... Someone got a sex addiction, but they in love with you, Gemini. Some of y'all, this is a Pisces. This person could be, um, this person could be someone who makes fast money. This person could roll dice games, play football boards, sell big dope. I don't know. I know this person loves you, but this person loves being chased. This person loves having their ego stroke, and I feel like it's because this person has low self-esteem. Someone uses their money or throws their money around in a very arrogant way and I feel like you humble this individual you make this you mirror I'm hearing you mirror me you see right through me. you see right through me how do you do that shit how do you do that shit how do you how do you okay some of you guys also, there's a need for you to keep quiet about a new relationship, possibly with a water sign or a, a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like someone is on the fence. It's like they don't want to feel as if you somebody's weakness, honey. This Aries, this Taurus. For some of you all, there's an Aries that wants to be single. This person wants to be independent. Someone could have even tried to bind this person to them. To prevent them from moving forward towards this Ace of Cups, okay? I definitely feel this energy of a lot of binding. For some of you all, I am picking up on... Um, hmm. Whew, okay, gems. Someone could have done a graveyard spell on you. This could be somebody's mother. Like someone's... This could be your mother-in-law, Gemini's. For some of you all, this could also be the child's mother of your spouse. Somebody tried to take your ass out. I feel like this is being confirmed for you in your subliminal space. Yeah. I see in the month of October, you guys making a major decision to choose yourself and finally, and finally heal from this third party situation, possibly with the Sagittarius. I feel like someone doesn't even... This, this could be you. Someone, okay. I feel like there's a lot of love in this particular partnership here. But I feel like whoever this, there's love here. But I feel like the love, like you guys love each other, but you're not in love with one another. I feel like someone's only holding on to prevent you or you, them from, someone's holding on to somebody just to prevent them from moving forward and being happy. Because someone feels entitled to someone's success, entitled to someone's happiness. 
This could even be you guys choosing not to leave a situation because you, you're choosing to be a slave to your loyalty, even though you have love right in your damn face. Some of you all want to give this Pisces a chance, but this person's a hoe and so is this Scorpio. I strongly feel like Gemini's. A lot of you all are going to be focused on your money. I feel like for some of you all, you there's someone here overthinking. Someone could have been trying to block a fire sign from getting to an earth sign to reveal some type of information regarding a child. I feel like there could be another fire sign who's tied to this mix, who's very intuitive, who's sitting in the background like I told you so. Well, this is you, Gems. But I definitely feel like with these big ass coins, this big ass coin and this big ass cup, you, have, you guys have blessings on the horizon. But there's a need for you all to see that there's going to take some type of, it's going to require some type of sacrificial gain. Whether this is your time, whether this is you cutting someone out of your life, I do feel that you guys are going to have to make a major sacrifice and a major choice to decide to choose you during the month of October. And I feel like it's going to be very difficult, but I feel like the universe is literally conspiring and working in it's working in alignment some of you guys some of you all are also researching on how to co-create with the universe for some of you all your master manifestors other than you i see your shamans some of you all are choosing to step into your destiny okay so let me get some advice for gems what's the soul give me a soul soul journeys lesson for my gemini's give me two cards hmm, loneliness i know that i'm never alone okay I know that I'm never alone. For some of you all, you've been holding on to a relationship even though you feel as if you're alone within that relationship. You're accepting the fact that you've spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally outgrown someone. Some of you guys rude the fuck up and somebody else just got older. Yeah. You guys got... Some of y'all fucking said that. You guys got growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. For some of you all, this has to do with you guys being divinely guided to a particular subject, to a particular study, because it's meant for you to teach these things to others. Okay? Lastly, well, you guys got success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love, honey. Okay? I strongly feel like there's a lot of sacral, there's a lot of throat chakra energy. You guys are speaking up for yourself. You're speaking up for... You're speaking up for the things in which you desire. You're speaking out against any type of injustices, not only for you, for others. I feel like a lot of people will be leaning on you in the month of October, Jim. Some of you guys may be really um, consoling your friends. I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you guys um, healing after some type of, uh, after losing someone possibly in the month of August or September. My condolences to you, my baby. I know how hard it is to lose somebody. Gems, I feel like you guys are ascending. And it's scaring the hell out of some of you. But success is on the other side. And whatever it is that you're losing, you're not losing anything. You're learning how to appreciate and identify through these lost, quote unquote, lessons. What it is that you need and not what you think you want. And when you know better, you do better. So you ain't lost shit. You gained an opportunity to learn so that you know better. Okay? So you guys, I pray that this resonates with you all. I send you guys so much love and light. I'm trying to finish all of these before the 31st, honey. Because I'm switching things up in the month of November. But I did want to get October ran through because I felt so fucking bad, y'all. Oh, but Jims, leave in the comments for shit you were though. Is it a spin? Is it a dip? How, how do you, how do you, how do you sit on that D? Because you guys definitely got a fucking problem on your hands. I'm just, just saying. Okay? And I say this with love. Run. Run. Jims. Run, bitch. Run. Okay? Love y'all. Bye.